So welcome to TLE class CSS7. Okay, let's pray. Father God, we thank you for this day that you gave to us. Guide us and bless us as we study. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, for your attendance, I will get this. If you have passed um, your assignment in your Google form, I will give you the assignment later after this. Let's try. Match column A with column B. Write only the letter of the correct answer on a separate sheet of paper. It is presented by a rectangle. It refers to an action in a business process. Yes, the answer is B. Process. Number two. It is represented by a diamond. A process that can answer a decision of yes or no requires a decision box. Yes, the answer is A, decision. Number three, it is represented by a small circle or a connector box and is labeled using letters. Yes, the answer is connector, D. Number four, drawn in a one direction, preferably from top to bottom to keep a flowchart clear. Yes, the answer is C, arrow line. Number five, a process is represented by a rectangle with a double lines on each side. Yes, the answer is letter E, sub-process. Okay, we're now in the lesson four. And the topic in lesson four is to prepare and interpret technical drawing. In this module, we will learn about the different kinds of technical drawings and interpret technical drawings. But before that, let's answer the let's recall part let's review give thanks i mean give 10 different kinds of storage devices that we have studied last week letter b answer the following questions please see your module Let's explore. Technical drawing is a graphic and technical communication tool. Early humans felt a need to represent the world like hunting scenes with their peers. The appearance of technology gradually led humans to develop another use of drawing. It became a way to convey technical thought. The Industrial Revolution gave rise to graphic and communication tool which facilitated the exchange of technical information between individuals. An international organization codified some of these graphic tools so that everyone could understand them. Elements of flowchart. First, let's define what is flowchart. It is a diagram that uses graphic symbols to depict the nature and flow of process. It is also referred to the flow diagram. Flowchart is commonly used by system analysis to visualize the series of process in a business system. Flowchart is a useful tool to design an efficient business system. Terminator Represented by a small rectangle with curved corners, Terminator appears at the start and at the end of the flowchart. The end terminator appears only once on a single flowchart. Process. It is represented by a triangle. It refers to the action in the business process. It is described clearly and concisely. Subprocess. Represented by a triangle with double lines in each side. Subprocess is a major process that can break up into simpler processes and develop into another flowchart. Decision, represented by a diamond, it is answerable by yes or no, which requires a decision box. Next, connector, it is represented by a small circle or a connector box. It is labeled with a flowchart written on a single page. It's clearer than flowcharts on several pages. A connector ensures that the process are connected logically and correctly on several pages. Arrow lines drawn in one direction from top to bottom. It keeps the flowchart clear. Arrow lines that loop should be avoided before it could indicate redundancy in the business process. 
When should teams use flowcharts? At the beginning, flowchart helps the team involved in the process to understand how it currently works. The team may find it helpful to compare flowchart with a diagram of the way the process is supposed to work. Later, the team will develop flowchart of the modified process to record how it actually functions at the same point or at some point, the team may want to create an ideal flowchart to show the process be performed. What are the benefits of flowcharts? It promotes the understanding of a process because people may have opposing idea about how a process works. Flowchart can help you gain agreement about the sequence of steps. Flowcharts promote understanding in a way that written procedures cannot do. One good flowcharts can replace pages of words. Next, it provides a tools for training employees because of the way they visual, visually lay out the sequence of steps. Flowchart can be helpful in training employees to perform the process according to standardized procedures and to identify problem areas and opportunities for process improvement. Once you break down the process and diagram them, problem areas become more visible. It is easy to spot opportunities for simplifying and refining process by analyzing decision point, redundant steps, and rework loops. And here are the basic flowchart symbols. Oval. It indicates both the starting point and the ending point. Box represent an individual step or activity in the process. Diamond shows the decision points such as yes or no, go or no go. Each path emerging from diamond must be labeled with one of the possible answers. Circle indicates a step disconnected to another page or part of the flowchart. A letter placed in the circle clarifies the continuation. And the triangle, it shows where an in-process measurement occurs. And here are the other symbols of flowchart. The start and end, the action or the process, the arrow, the output and an input. The decision, the connector, and the sub-process and sub-routine. Here's the example of load of chart. For example, you're going to get the sum of two numbers. You're going to put it here on the start. For example, your two numbers are 5 plus 3 is equals to blank. Of course, your red A here will be 5 and your red B here will be 3. So if you get it, sum is equals to A and B. For example, the 5 plus 3 is equals to 8. So 8 is equals to 5 plus 3. Print the sum and then end, meaning you solve the problem. Also, we have here the start, input for M1, M2, M3, M4. Okay, the grade. For example, your grade here in math, first quarter, second quarter, third quarter, fourth quarter is 80, 80, 80, 80. It says here that you're going to divide it by 4. So what's the number? So your grade, is your grade um, less than 50? Okay, why? Output, uh, did you pass or did you fail? And then... Your conclusion here if pass or fail next let's dig in direct this is going to be your assignment you're going to answer this one in your module then take a picture and submit it to our Google form letter a what is the descriptions in low in column a with the symbols in column B number one number two number three number four and number five.